Alzheimer's robs its victims of their memories and robs families of their loved ones. But can the disease be prevented? Dr. Majid Fatoui, director of the LifeBridge Center for Memory and Brain Health, joins us this morning with more on the subject. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so that's the big question. Can you prevent Alzheimer's? Yes. Okay, that's a good answer. Yes. How do you do that? Well, I think the first thing you need to know that you can indeed prevent memory loss that comes with aging, mm -hmm. and you can indeed prevent Alzheimer's. Okay. This is a new discovery in the past four or five years, and there's a lot of excitement about conveying these messages to the general public, and that's what I like to do. The first thing you need to do is what <clears throat> was just mentioned earlier. You've got to keep your body in good shape. Okay. Physical fitness goes a long way to keep your brain in good shape, mm -hmm. really. If you keep your heart healthy, it, it brings better blood, fresher blood to your brain, okay. and that makes your brain cells happier, and you'll be, you'll be able to think clearly and function better. Mm -hmm. You need to take care of your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. you, need, you, eat, you need to eat right, don't, not too much salt, don't eat too much. Okay. Obesity is terrible. Diabetes associated with uh, obesity can double or triple the risk. So general well-being when it comes to the body, what about the brain specifically? Do you have to exercise it, take care of it the same way you do the body? Yes, that's the very interesting thing about the brain. It kind of works like muscle. Mm -hmm. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And so the more brain exercises you do, the better brain fitness you'll have. Give me an example of a brain exercise. Um, you know, it's not curls, I'm imagining. No, <laughs> no. I mean, people always talk about crossword puzzles, and okay. that really does help. I think of it like the same way you can uh, uh, do some push-ups or sit-ups, mm -hmm. and afterwards you feel better, you feel more relaxed. It's not, it's, it's not really work. The other thing you could do, you can take dance classes. Okay. These are fun things to do. Uh, you have to remember the steps, so you are using your brain, but also it's physical fitness, which is what we mentioned earlier. Okay. Um, you can read, you can mm -hmm. volunteer. Um, using your brain doesn't mean it's something difficult for you to do. You just have to be able to <clears throat> be willing to use, uh, to uh, take opportunities to solve problems. For example, if the timer on, on, let's say, microwave is not working, you mm -hmm. can bang it and say, you know, we need a new one. Right. Or you can stop fiddling with the numbers. Okay. Oh. Um, or if something else is not working around the house, just for the fun of it. Okay. Fiddle with it. And we don't do that anymore. I don't even know anyone's phone numbers anymore because they're all programmed into the cell phone and yes. you just press a button and that comes up and that's part okay, of the problem. Okay, let me give you a good, good trick to do. You can't remember a phone number, right? Okay. Uh, and a credit card number is not more than any two phone number. Okay. So for the fun of it. Just memorize your credit card number oh, and imagine how impressed you That just means more spending, Dr. Fatui. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you would like more information on the LifeBridge Health, Brain, and Spine Institute, you can log on to foxbaltimore.com and click on news links. And if you have a question about the brain and memory and so forth, Dr. Fatui is going to take your phone calls next. The phone lines are open now at 410-481-4545. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning. Thank you very much, Jennifer. We are back with Dr. Majid Fatoui, the director of the Center for Memory and Brain Health at Sinai Hospital. Dr. Fatoui is answering your questions this morning, so the phone lines are open, 410-481-4545. Our first caller this morning is Norma in Baltimore. Good morning, Norma. Good morning. What's your question? I was calling because I'm a 42-year-old female, and I'm taking 28 pills a day, and I'm doing her mirror shot every week. And I wonder, do that have anything to do with my memory? Because I do forget a lot. Wow, 28 pills a day. Definitely, taking 28 pills a day is going to affect your brain. Uh, if you have to take it, you have to take it. I would recommend that you go over the medications with your pharmacist or doctor to see which ones can cause memory problems, and some of them can be substituted. Okay, good advice. Thank you so much. Let's go now to uh, Mitzi in Baltimore. Good morning, Mitzi. Mitzi, are you there? Yes, I am. All right, what's your question for uh, Dr. Yes, Mitzi? I had a brain tumor removed nine years ago. It was called acoustic neuroma. And for some reason, at times, I have a lot of trouble thinking. Sometimes my speech is a little slurry. And I was wondering, is this going to go away or my memory going to get worse? I'm kind of concerned I'm 59. Acoustic neuromas don't cause memory problems. If you do have uh, memory concerns, I recommend that you see a physician and discuss it with your physician. All right, let's go now to Mildred in Baltimore. Mildred, good morning. Good morning. What's your question? My question is if you have diabetes or uh, high blood and taking medication for that, does that have anything to do with memory loss? That's an excellent question. Yeah, if you have uh, hypertension or uh, um, diabetes, you are at increased risk for developing memory problems. But if you treat them, 
your risk is less. So I encourage you to continue to take medications. If some of the medications you think are making you groggy, then please uh, talk with your doctor and switch it. But you really need to focus on uh, treating your blood pressure and diabetes. It's very essential you do that. So for yeah. people, is that the cause of memory uh, of forgetfulness? Um, blood pressure and diabetes can affect your brain and cause memory problems. So you need to take medications. Um, and you really have to also exercise and keep your body in good shape. All right, let's move on now to our next caller, Joseph in Baltimore. Good morning, Joseph. Uh, yeah. What's your question? Um, yes, I would like to know, uh, if you get hit in the head, does your, do you lose brain cells? Um, it's not a good idea to get hit in the head, but <laughs> sometimes people do. Um, people can have memory problems after a head trauma, and sometimes these memory problems can continue. But again, if something has happened, it has happened. You can't mm -hmm. change the past. What I recommend to people with such uh, experiences is to try to improve your brain fitness from now on. Mm -hmm. Exercise, eat healthy, measure your blood pressure, control it, control your diabetes, okay. and keep your brain active. All right, Dr. Fatui, thank you so much. And if you would like more information on the LifeBridge Health Brain and Spine Institute, you can log on to foxbaltimore.com and click on News Links. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning.